As an HVAC technician starting out in this field, I was told by the company trainer to hook the hoses up to my manifold gauges every time I go out on an AC call. Much like a doctor who wears a stethoscope around his neck, hooking up my gauges meant that we were the professionals out there. And when I bring the customer out to the AC to discuss recommendations or repairs, they would see that I was the one with all the knowledge. Was my trainer onto something, or was this just another effort to blow smoke up the customer's rear and make him fall for that company's high pressure antics? If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down on the bottom right, and if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Every residential air conditioner has a service valve that the technicians hook their gauges up to in order to read the pressures of the refrigerant inside the system. And those service valves have a Schrader core, that's Schrader core, that gets depressed when technicians manifold hoses attached to the service valve. It's a lot like the valve on a bicycle tire. When the core gets pressed in, the refrigerant is allowed into the technician's manifold so that the pressures can be read on the gauges and it takes an experienced technician to interpret those readings to accurately determine what's going on with the refrigerant pressures in the system. Now I'm not going to get too far into that, but we can see the temperature of the evaporator coil, the condenser coil, as well as determine the superheat and subcooling levels for that system. But do technicians really need to hook up every time they go out on a preventive maintenance or a service call? Does it mean that we won't give a full comprehensive diagnostic if we don't? No. Most technicians will walk up to a system and assess how the system is running by doing a couple things. First, have you asked the customer how their system is running? If not, that's valuable information to get. If the system has been running great, according to the customer, there may not be any reason to hook up the gauges. So you've asked the customer how the system has been performing, and they said that the system has been running fine. They just wanted to call you out for a preseason tune-up like the ones that we offer here at Fox Family for just $75. Have you checked the temperature split to see if the system is blowing nice cold air? Because that would be more input that should sway a technician from hooking up their gauges. I know it's a little cliche, but checking the temperature of the suction line can further indicate that you wouldn't need to hook up your gauges to the AC system. The liquid line should be a few degrees warmer than the outside temperature too. So making some initial checks like this can make somebody comfortable about not hooking up their gauges to the system. Why don't I think you should hook up your gauges so much? Hooking up your gauges can do several things to actually harm the performance of the system over the long run. Maybe not today, but the overall lifespan of the system can be affected. I feel like hooking up gauges from one system to the next contaminates the next system you hook up to. Taking a little bit of refrigerant from one system, going to the other side of town and putting your gauges on that system has now introduced a small amount of contaminants that the system has never seen before. Moisture and air from one system can easily be transferred to another system. This is definitely true if your no loss fittings or ball valve fittings on your hoses retain the R22 Freon in one system and then get hooked up to that one on the other side of town that is an R410A system. A technician doing this will literally create a new mixture, a new refrigerant even, where if done enough times, will throw the readings off on a system so badly, not even the most experienced technician will be able to tell the true pressures inside that system. This will eventually create a situation where the technician down the road will tell some customer that they need to remove all the refrigerant and start over with a new manufacturer's charge of virgin refrigerant to determine if there's anything else wrong with the system. Another reason to avoid putting gauges on every time you go out on a call is to reduce the chances of exposing yourself to refrigerant burns. In the unlikely event that you find something like a burr in the threading of the service valve and get it stuck, it could create a situation where the refrigeration starts shooting out of the hoses. Some techs will persist in trying to get those hoses off and burn themselves in the meantime. I know it's a small chance, but tell that to the techs who have ended up with huge blisters on their hands trying to play hero, losing some time off of work, further impacting their paychecks and livelihood. My last point I want to make in persuading you to think twice about hooking up your gauges to every AC system you come upon 
is the fact that the Schrader core we spoke of earlier can be loosened, creating a tiny leak. The Schrader core is threaded into the service valve, and while you're screwing the new core into the valve, which way are you tightening it? Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Taking off your hoses in the normal counterclockwise direction mimics the same direction it takes to unscrew the Schrader core. I've seen it a few times already this year when I went out on some service calls for no cooling. The client said the system blows only room temperature air. They also said that they've been having maintenance done by a local company every spring and fall. There was no temp split from the registers and the suction line at the AC was warm to the touch. I unscrewed the service valve cap to attach my hoses and when I got the cap off I saw a small amount of liquid refrigerant spewing out of where the valve core sits. I think I found the problem. To put it another way, ACHR News had a story recently saying there's no reason to ever put your gauges on an air conditioning or refrigeration system after the initial installation unless a problem with the mechanical refrigeration circuit is suspected. They went on to say that using a psychrometric chart, digital thermometer, digital humidity stick, and an accurate method to calculate airflow can replace having to apply your manifold gauges anytime. Remember, only virgin refrigerant is supposed to be in these systems. So the less we go from system to system, putting on and taking off our refrigerant hoses will not only save time, but it'll increase the equipment life, maintain performance, and reduce refrigerant emissions into the atmosphere. Like I said at the beginning, I was told by my company trainer to hook up my manifold gauges every time I'm out on an AC call. He said it would make me look like the doctor who wears a stethoscope around his neck. He said my customer expects to see those hoses hooked up, and if they weren't, they might think that something wasn't right. I just think that he wasn't worried about the integrity of the customer's air conditioning system or the integrity of his company's high pressure sales antics. As always, I appreciate you all for watching our videos here at Fox Family in Sacramento. I would love to hear your comments as a technician out in the field about how your company practices service calls and maintenances regarding hooking up your gauges every time you're out on a service call. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down on the bottom right, and if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating, Air, and Solar. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.